First ball of the series. Off goes Marufa. Nicely driven, finds the gap. Right away, Australia off the mark. Pull shot. And we'll get the first boundary. In, uh, India, picking up four wickets last year. Really became a big star for Bangladesh. Oh, that was an opportunity. Just not able to take that catch. Second over from Sultana, the off spinner. Right away, gets some turn. Oh, is that a wicket? Wow. First stop, first ball. Litchfield's gone. From the good length. There was a bit of turn and couldn't negotiate it properly. Litchfield, she is destructive. This is really important wicket for Bangladesh. It will motivate the team. They are happy. Litchfield. So they also have to make the maximum of this home series as well. Pull shot. And we'll get the first boundary. Alisa Healy definitely knows how to play on the back foot. Once again, outside, outside edge. edge. That should be out. Finger goes up. Another wicket for Bangladesh. That is really excellent. Excellent delivery. Second wicket down. Ellis Perry gone. A big, big blow for Australia. And what a bowling effort from Sultana right away with the new ball. The persistence from Jyoti to keep the slip on worked out beautifully. Ellis Perry, I'm sure, wanted to have a longer stay at the crease. This is a long series. Three ODIs followed by the three T20s, but she has disappointed right at the top. And that was a superb delivery for Litchfield. Bit of short delivery, back foot pull, nicely punched, and it's a boundary. And there is that one fielder. Oh, now that's an appeal, and she's given! Massive wicket for Bangladesh. It's the big fish. The Australian captain, Elisa Healy. She has to depart. She took the outside edge. And she's gone for 24 from 39 deliveries. Marufa, we were talking about her being a bit unlucky. And she gets the important breakthrough. She's looking for those chances, Nahida. Bounce came straight in. And the finger goes up. Brilliant from Naida. First from the comp box and then the umpire. It was really plumb. And uh, didn't take that much time, umpire. And that was a very clean leg before. Another breakthrough for, for Team Bangladesh. This is 48 for 4. Partnership breaks. Ah, down the leg. There was turn and it's a wide delivery. <laughs> First extra of the day. Australia moving. Fahima with the wrong on. They're excited. Given is the big wicket of Beth Mooney. Just brushed the bat on the way. And she's gotten the breakthrough. She goes for 25 as Bangladesh celebrate. That happens from the bowling of Fahima. Again, tossed up. The batter not sure whether to really come onto the front foot or not. Mooney, she was set 25 from 64 deliveries. It's a game of matchups. Sultana turning the ball in towards. Oh, that's gone! Square leg umpire raises his finger. Neither celebrates. Yet another one bites the dust for Australia. The sixth wicket is gone. Ashley Gardner goes off for a well played 32, but neither gets her second. Khan, just look at the action. She came, she left the crease, and she thought she will get the ball into the slot, but it turned a lot than she expected. Beat by the turn. A yes. nice job done by the captain behind the stumps. That was, it was big. It was big for Bangladesh, and one of the most dangerous batters in this Australian side, playing in the middle, late middle order, Ashley Gardner. In the bag. There's no space for... Goal! Yes! The slip is rewarded. Outside edge. Shorna gets the breakthrough. Brilliant catch by Nahida. I think it was Rabia, in fact. Yes. Rabia takes a stunner in the slip cotton. And Georgia Wareham, she departs. They've finally broken the partnership. This was looking dangerous for Bangladesh and the Tigresses. They fought back once again. Chris Midoff 
two patrolling the covers within the 30 yard circle. That was outside edge and was a chance for Bangladesh. Missed it. Chasing it. Saved the boundary. But there was absolutely a clear chance for Bangladesh. Brilliant delivery once again, beating Healy outside the off stump. And that's why you would want to keep a slip. Sultana can keep the ball both ways. Beating Healy all ends up. Other spinners. Stands her ground. A solid base and a solid hit out of the park. Mighty blow from her. That was flighted, but she waited for the ball to bounce in and rocked into her back foot. The connection was pure. She made. Oh, what a shot that is. Will it go again? This time, bigger. It's another six. Has to be more clever. Struggling right now, Faima. Again, this time she employs the slog sweep. Finds the gap again. Two fielders there. Just couldn't get it. Another boundary. Lana King. Her highest ODI score. If you look at the length, she really connects well again. But two fielders there. They should have stopped that. Waited for each other to take charge. But none took charge in the end the ball just went through them the last over yielding four sixes all coming off the bat of Alana King desperate dive desperate jump from Nahida ball skips her fingers goes all the way and after 50 it's 213 for seven Australia Australians giving away their tactics in a way Field that has been set. Shoot going for the in-swinger. This time gets the outside edge. The first wicket for Australia. An outside edge well taken behind the stumps by skipper Lisa Healy. Farzana Hawks stay in the crease. Is done. And Megan Shoot strikes in the very first over. And gets rid of Farzana Hawk Pinky. The Seoul Centurion in the Bangladesh side. And she's gone for naught. Without troubling the scorers. Not the start Bangladesh would have hoped for. And exactly what Australia wanted. Just a start for Bangladesh. From Kim Garth and is definitely bringing the slip into play. This time driven well, finds the gap, the ball's racing through the carpet and Murshida finds her second boundary. As they say, patience is virtue. Given the opportunity in the previous over and Kim Gart slightly errs in length, slightly over pitches and Murshida Khatun leans onto it with flamboyance, crisp shot to get her first boundary. The ball is getting away, moving away, out swinging from the right handed batter, so the angle's not there. Till now, Mustari, she's been holding it off. See what goes off in the next ball. That's driven, finally, back to ball. Is there a fielder? There's no one patrolling the third man region. An outside edge goes off to the boundary. This is boundary number three for Bangladesh. Yeah, tad bit fuller. Tad bit fuller from Garth. Open the face of the bat, but outside edge makes takes it away from Gali. But I'd give Subhana slight bit of credit for that, for opening the face of the bat at the very last moment, which made that angle and kept it away from the fielder at Gali. If you think that will be happen to you also, and the lower order, what Shomano and Ahmed bin Parvez were talking about, oh my goodness, whenever I was talking about staying on the wicket, staying about resilience showing about the resilience that time she departs we get down bangladesh will be in trouble you can maximize you can score big but murshida departs now this is the time for the captain to come and to take the responsibility nonetheless at this moment with the cloud cover on it is difficult for batting now a big shot comes out finally pressure release nigar sultana jyoti gets her first boundary very well played slot sweep there against Ash Gardner. 
and she's off the mark as we can see it was flighted and Jyoti was very happy to see that go all the way to the boundary there is a big gap behind square and that's where she wanted to go but the ball goes and crashes onto the stumps instead Subhana Mostari right after the drinks break has to depart and Alaina King gets her wicket right on cue just said it as cliched as it sounds that a partnership has been broken and I did say that Bangladesh would hope not but they've managed to take the wicket of Shubhara Mustari round the legs wrapped around the legs full delivery flight and she was down on one knee looking to sweep it but in the process leg left a tad bit of the leg stump exposed and Lana King just made the most of that and hit the leg stump bullseye breaks the partnership on 49 that is a proper leg spinner's wicket it's been bowling length so far oh that's right on the money big appeal the umpire unmoved on that occasion the on field umpire Vrindarathi from India was not interested I think uh, just have a feeling it was closer than it looked bit of movement but extra bounce is the extra bounce even though it was the back foot is the extra bounce that that was a slower one change of pace is there an opportunity oh my goodness a comedy of errors amplified by that direct hit and another wicket falls for Bangladesh this was unfortunate but the mix-up resulted in a run out just what Bangladesh did not need at this moment Fahima Khatun has to go that was a slower one she played a nice drive but look at that effort there brilliant fielding shied the middle stump caught the bullseye no chance for the batter to come back Jyoti did not respond to the call in the first place it was too risky there wasn't a single in the first place Fahima had to pay another wicket gone for Bangladesh she's getting it to move off the surface she's banging it in and looking for something once again a fuller delivery and now does the umpire budge he goes upstairs to the third umpire they think they've got the big wicket of Nigar Sultana Jyoti. Let's see, what does she do on her second spell? Again, played on the onside. A quick single taken. There was a fielder there. Shit. Shit. What happened? What happened? There is an appeal for the run out. Yeah, and I was just about to mention that I thought it was good running initially. Oh my goodness, she did not plant her bat. And the foot probably isn't down on time as we can see the stumps being broken. Yes, you can say it. Another wicket down and this time this is the captain of Bangladesh, Nigar Sultana Jyoti. That was really lazy effort. You cannot do it. About the batting prowess as you go deeper into the batting order. Goes for the big one. Went straight up. Catch is an offer. It's a good catch taken by Litchfield. Was uh, going away from her. She followed it, kept her composure, and did the needful. And Shorna Akhtar, she has to depart. Be the winner, be the match winner. You've got nothing to lose from here. Yes, you're the home side, but you're already, your back is pinned. Oh, brilliant delivery from Kim Garth. It was full skid on, and uh, Rabia was in no position. Neither forward, neither back. Behind the wicket, stood up, did not let Rabia get out of the crease in any way. She got stuck. She was in no man's land. Ball skidded through.
the defense. Hits middle stump. That is bullseye bowling from Kim Garth. More and more people will be attracted towards this game. And as I say it, the umpire raises his finger. Ash Gardner has the final wicket. And that's the match. And really, a thoroughly well-deserved victory for Australia, who take a 1-0 lead, winning by 118 runs.